So that was uh, the game was great. Yeah, fucking trucker blood the whole way out. Went from New York, there? New York to Philly on the train. Uh huh. Stopped. Took took BB girl out for a n- nice vegan date. Did you really? Took the baby girl out for a date. <laughs> Hopped on a train to Harrisburg mm-hmm. from Philly after the date. Nice fucking date. What a date. One of the, one of the best dates. So you're just hopping trains, hopping trains, breaking hearts. <laughs> God damn, you're just hopping a train, eating vegan, farting your whole way to Pittsburgh. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> so then, uh, God, I love her so much. Oh fuck, dude, Jesus Christ, she's the best. And then uh, I hopped in a rented car, mm-hmm. drove the drove straight out to South Bend. Got there at From seven a.m. Damn, dude, all night. <sighs> Got there at seven a.m. Holy, dude. So I mean. Also, you're making comebacks. Eminem's making a Me comeback. Me and Eminem both made a comeback this week. Yeah, literally. <laughs> he made it a hard comeback. <laughs> this podcast still sucks. Oh, it does. It's both fine. just smiling. It's like <laughs> It was fine. better when I was sad. Now it's no, like, it's great, things dude. are great. It is good. Oh, man. But then, uh, so we drive out, go to the game. Oh. My uh, This is hilarious. So I took, me and O'Connor went out. Mm-hmm. Uh, my aunt, we stayed at my aunt and uncle's house. And my aunt, sweetest lady in the world, I don't know if I should fucking put her on blast like this, but the food that she makes, she fucking sucks at cooking. So a lot of Irish people can't cook. She can't cook to save her fucking life. And then she forces you to eat it. Really? Yeah. Like big plates of just dog shit food. And like, I knew it was coming, but watching, (laughs) watching O'Connor have to like eat like, so the first night we're out there, she makes meatball subs. Mm -hmm. This is what she said. It was just, there was no, it was like sloppy Joe. It was great. They all fell apart. And then like 10 pounds of potato salad on the side, like a mountain of it. Oh, my God. And it's just like, all right, guys, I made you food. She also makes food and then leaves it out Uh until someone comes home. And then she microwaves it. Okay. So there's just a plate of fucking like potato salad sitting in the kitchen for like three hours. Everyone's got it like, fuck, we got to eat it. Yeah. A lot of people, is she she like from Irish? She's from, uh, yeah, I think so. Dude, a lot of Irish people can't cook. This She's also up. from the coal region. Of really? Pennsylvania. She's from like Shemokin, PA. God damn, man. It's That's rough. one dude. I'm telling you, like all these other cultures, like Mexican. You hear about like Mexican restaurants and Italian. You never, you never see an Irish restaurant. You can't cook. No. Nah. A lot like my. I never knew my mom's cooking was bad, until like I started bringing girls home. Especially like black women like pride themselves in being like mean in the kitchen. Yeah. So it was like. I was. I remember it was my ex wife, and we're like, I was like, my mom's making chicken tonight, and she bit into it. and Was just like, uh-uh. and she was like, why is it so dry? I'm like, no, this is just what chicken tastes like. This like, is chicken. Like- <laughs> you have to drink a glass of water with it every bite. That's how we eat. <laughs> That's what I thought. Every- I always told people, I'm like, dude, I hate pork chops. They're so dry. They're like, dude, pork chops aren't dry. They're like really like juicy and succulent. And I was like, nah, pork chops are really dry, dude. You yeah. Probably have- like, it's just my mom would just fucking scorch. I'll tell you what, my <laughs> aunt, my aunt does not have a problem with dry. She has a problem with it. every single thing is soaking wet. For no reason. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. So for breakfast on Saturday morning, she's like, do you guys want breakfast? It's just like, fuck. <laughs> fuck, here it comes. Yes. She's got two, this is one plate. She's uh-huh. got two bagel, ham, egg, and cheese bagel sandwiches, and then scallop potatoes. Like uh-huh. cheese scallop potatoes for breakfast. She's like Irish. a mountain of potatoes. <laughs> and the, the bagels were like soaking wet. I have no idea. It was chaos. Maybe microwaved? The, and then you microwave them. How chewy were they? How chewy were they five minutes into the sandwich? They also had no taste. Not one single thing she made differentiated. Yeah, they, the meatball they, sub that was just like ground beef mm-hmm. and ketchup. Dude. <laughs> I mean, dude, the fucking... That's the other thing, too, with seasonings. I didn't know, like... like I, I grew up when you just put salt and pepper on your food. And like if you wanted to taste good, you just put a lot of salt on it. Yeah, a ton like, of dude, salt. Dude, this is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, there's like all these fucking spices to cook with. And I never knew. And like, if you go home, like my mom's cooking, it's the same thing. She's like, yeah, salt and pepper. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna put some garlic powder. She says, don't put too much. I don't, I don't like garlic, dude. It's just very. She made eggs mm-hmm. that were just literally covered in pepper. That's what's up. Like, dude. just you couldn't even see the eggs. There's so <laughs> much fucking pepper on it. And me and O'Connor are like looking at each other, like, fuck, dude. That's so funny. You gotta eat it. That's deli- That sounds fucking dude. delicious, dude. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> All right, so uh, enough trashing my aunt's cooking. Hey, it is what it is. 